traffic comers. Ooh, can I tell my story? Let me <laughs> speak my truth. Let me see my truth. I don't fuck with that shit, but I understand sometimes things happen. Okay. But don't let that shit happen on the first time, first time. Like, I had a dude, like, you know, he was just so fine. Like, we went on dates. Like, it was everything was going right, and it was time to let's get to that. Is it like, what's going on? Girl, why in the hell he did? It was like, doom, 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 come. No bullshit. And I swear to God, like, it was like, in, out, in, out, splat. I'm like, no way. And I didn't, I don't count that to this day. That would not be a body of mine. <laughs> and I never did it to him again. Cause I'm like, you're rude. <laughs> you're so nasty and f Cap. so rude. But, 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 wrong. but is that a flex? Cause some girls see that's a flex. Good. Like this nigga fucked me, bitch. And my pussy was so motherfucking good. Bitch, he came in two seconds. And that's a red flag to me for on his end. I mean, I'm not happy about that. Cause like my pussy can't be that good that you have to You're right. Y'all all the same. Like like real talk. Like I know a lot of women like to brag on themselves and they make they like to believe based off of how guys deal with them or how many dudes bust them down that they they box is more superior than the next chick's box. But it's all in our minds. It's all here. It's all based off of how we perceive you or whether or not we've been pining for it for a long time. And it's a lot of different things that we can go over as to why it is that he decided that he wanted to bust fast or whatever like that. Because first of all, I think that she's cabin. Absolutely busted down, um, especially if he busted down on the first date. So they went on a date, she was filling him, and then he busted out, and that was the end of the conversation. All right, let me help you out a little bit first, baby girl, before we hold you accountable. Uh, first things first is that for some reason, y'all think that we value y'all in the way that you value us. Once you slot a woman into the bust down category, meaning that there's a difference between a bust down and a wife, that means that we don't really care. Well, I know the real ones don't really care. I know some other guys probably care, uh, but we don't really care. So much so to where I've always tried to understand how this new generation of dudes actually care about whether or not a chick think that they perform in a way that they support. You know what I'm saying? Like, the goal for a chick that most guys slot a certain way is to do what you do with them and get what you can out of them and leave them for the streets, right? I don't know what y'all loving them for. I don't know why y'all think that it's important for them. Like, what you want, feedback? You want performance metrics? You want some understanding? You want to better understand how it is that she feels about you? That ain't never been it. That ain't never been a goal. And so I've always tried to understand why most guys – um, or a lot of guys of this new generation care about what a woman think about them. Obviously, the dude that she's talking about is more closely aligned with my mindset because I don't think that once you've had, especially once you've had certain type of experiences, that it comes down to, you know, whether or not it's you've been holding it in or anything like that. I mean, come on, man. She she She's a basic chick. I mean, and I'm not throwing shade yet but she's a basic chick with the baby hair wig weave and i mean i, I don't really know why y'all think that y'all any more spectacular or any more unique than any other chick right you know what i'm saying so it's like it's not like you're special i mean if he if he went out with you and he busted down immediately and then you said oh no i'm not doing nothing with you no more i don't even think that they like i wouldn't care okay cool thank you but you know what I'm saying? Like, got what we needed to get, kept it moving, mission accomplished, keeping it moving. You know what I'm saying? So the 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 ego behind it is not really a big thing. We're not tripping off that. You know what I'm saying? The other part of it is, do you see how wild and nasty some man's daughter is? This is a man's daughter. This is some woman's daughter. This is somebody I'm thinking that their parents love them at some point, and they are on a podcast and you know, you know me, I'm going to give credit where credit is due uh, and that I'm always going to make sure that I put a link today, Instagram or whatever like that from whatever it is that this is sourced from, because you guys be sending me this stuff wild as ever. But this is somebody's daughter. And with them being somebody's daughter, nasty, foolish. And you know what the funniest part about it is? She's openly talking about busting it open. Aside from the fact that she's been busting it open, but she's openly talking about busting it open on the internet. And then at some point, I'm assuming that she's probably going to want to 
have a conversation about marrying or getting married, and then they're going to be having a, a talk and also another podcast. They'll probably rebrand at that point uh, about how dudes ain't nothing. Dudes ain't this and that. You know, ain't no real ones out here. Uh, they don't want to provide and protect. I need a man to take care of me and all of this. And it's like the quality is so substandard. And when I say quality, I'm not talking about looks. You know, we got to open up our mind. When I'm saying quality, I'm talking about your character. Your quality is, is, is defined by the actions that led up to you meeting me. You know, it's, it's the dudes that you've been with. And this is why body count is so important. Body count is not just important for whether or not, oh, man, can you keep a secret or nothing like that. Body count is important because we're trying to understand how tainted you are. How bad is it out here in the streets? You know, you about to go swimming in the pool and you want to know whether or not this is a new pool, whether the water's been tra uh, changed out, whether the water's been treated. You know, is this a community pool? Because I don't swim in community pools. I might sit poolside. You know what I'm saying? I might chill. But I I'm not really a fan of community pools. I, I kind of like just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like being in a space where we ain't got to worry about whether or not it's piss in a pool. I don't like going to... You know, and it's the difference between a community. When I say community pool, I'm not talking about resort. I'm not talking about beaches. I'm not talking about, you know, you going to the Bellagio and just hanging out at the pool side or whatever like that. I want to know if this is the YMCA. Is this the pool that was in the projects that they put there as a part of the diversity, equity, and inclusion program? Because if that's the pool, then I'm going to pass. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of piss. It's a lot of stuff in that. Even birds fly by and just do droppings in it and you know what I'm saying? They might have caught a body in that at some point. And the body count is important because the quality of your life is then going to determine whether or not you're going to be a quality person moving into this relationship or whether you trauma bonding or whether or not you're a worthy person to have children with. And all of that stuff used to matter. Remember when that was a discussion? Remember when that was a thing? Remember when people dressed up to go to baseball games? It was like it mattered. What happened in your life prior to you coming into my life? All of that stuff. Matters. Now it's like, oh, no, we're going to shame you if you ask me a question about my history. Although it's never been a problem to ask somebody a question about their history with a job interview or money or anything. But when I'm making a decision as to the person that's going to um, you know, play the biggest role in my life going forward for the rest of my life which is the biggest financial decision. It's the biggest business decision. It's the biggest decision that you can ever make in your life in a general sense. All of a sudden, it doesn't matter. All of a sudden, we shouldn't substantiate that. All of a sudden, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a meaningful conversation as to why it is that this person deserves or doesn't deserve to be in your life anymore. And I'm confused at that. You know, It's like the quality of your life and the quality of your children, none of that matters. Whether you got venereal diseases, none of that matters. I know y'all ain't got no my chart. None of that matters anymore. It's just all based off of, you know, how you feel about a person. So we're making decisions on who we're going to have children with based off of feelings and not substantiated and based off of anything else other than that. And so it weirds me out. It weirds me out why we make these weird decisions. And it also weirds me out how these women just bust it open for a real one. But then again, it doesn't because I know that, you know, Chicks for the Streets has been around since the beginning of time. And it's our most earliest documented versions of them says that they are all the same. The difference is somehow we slot them differently and I don't understand why. But I'm open to the possibility that I'm wrong. Make sure you all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, Teach Hanley, 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I'm interested in reading what you guys think. Make sure that you uh, let me know inside of the comments and I'll be reading those comments very, very shortly. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later, man. Peace.